Good morning, Hoosiers. A cold night with temperatures down to 25 and is going to be that way off and on for the next week or two. I today will be 50 under partly cloudy skies and becoming mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of rain showers. The low tonight will be around 30 with northeast winds at 5 to 10. Corn December 379 and one half up four and three quarters. March 396 and one half up four and three quarters. Soybeans January 1077 and three quarters down one. March 1093 and three quarters down one half. Soy oil December 4482 up 16 cents. Meal December 292.30 down 120. Wheat December 749 and one half down 16. Live cattle December 9530 down two and one half cents. Lean hogs December 5252 and one half cents down 27 and one half. Pork bellies February 90, 67 and one half cents, down 57 and one half cents. Energy crude oil December 95.10 up 167. Gas December 237 and one half up four cents. Heating oil December 259 up three cents. Ethanol December 186 and a half virtually unchanged. Purdue University residences, larger than life football, viewing at Cary Quadrangle, won a national award for the best social program of the month from the National Association of College and University Resident Halls. Resident assistants Joyce Spoonamore, Nate Gingrich, and Lisa Shriver organized a September 22nd event at the Men's Residence Hall in the final days before the Purdue Boilermakers 2007 Big Ten de debut against the Minnesota Golden Gophers. Fueled by the excitement of a 3-0 and start to the season and an inability to make the road trip to Minneapolis, they arranged for a maintenance staff to drape a three-story screen from the courtyard side of the complex's west building. The ESPN broadcast with audio provided by the resident hall's radio station DJ equipment drew more than 250 fans to enjoy the game under the stars, including several members of the Purdue football team who are not on the travel squad. Head resident assistant Jason Ford said the event has helped create new bonds among the residents. Indiana will offer cattlemen help with the drought through loans up to $25 million just announced today. Have a good and safe weekend.